Have you passed this mural in Seattle? It's designed to beautify a Belltown construction project. The artist, teenagers. People come by and say how much they like it. They spent the last eight weeks painting. You know, you got weird lines. You got like tight borders. But this is not a summer camp project. All of these kids have been in trouble with the law. Some have been in county detention. I was still booked when I started the program. I got out the day after after I started the job and it kept me it kept me out of a lot of trouble this this past summer. This internship program is offered through Superior Courts Community Programs, a part of juvenile probation. The court partners with local businesses and nonprofits like Urban Artworks. The goal to keep these kids out of the justice system. We still have an opportunity to turn it around for them and so that they can become productive citizens, they can become t taxpayers and homeowners and college graduates and give back to the community. Urban Artworks has installed dozens of murals around Seattle, empowering court-involved youth. Basically giving them art skills, but more importantly, job training skills. So they learn to show up on time, call and be accountable if they're late dress appropriately, which is paint clothes. It was a good incentive, like get out, go earn work experience, go, go earn money, go work, instead of sitting at home, playing video games, out on the streets. The kids all had to interview for the program. They earn minimum wage for their work. They also have to be enrolled in school, training, or a GED program. It helps me think better because when I was getting in trouble, I wasn't doing things I should have been. But um, now my mind is more clear so I can just think better and it makes me want to just move forward, be successful. Now I, I have a plan. I'm going to college and I'm going to be, be what I want to be and be successful in what I want to do. A lot of these youth see their name on court orders, they see their name all over these papers that have negative connotations. Very rarely are they receiving their name on, seeing their name on something positive. And at the end of this eight week program, their name's painted on this wall and it's gonna be up for years. And they can say, hey, I did that. This Artworks project was made possible by a grant from the U.S. Department of Labor in partnership with the state's Juvenile Rehabilitation Administration.